me clearly, America is not a racist country. Ladies and gentlemen, last weekend we were dealing with the shooting down in Jacksonville, Florida. Many of us were grieving for the families that lost their loved ones because it was a senseless killing. Well, the very next day, right after the Jacksonville shooting, a white man tried to storm a black church with a shotgun. And the best thing about this story, he failed. Absolutely. So this is Jeffrey Harris. For good reason, the Jacksonville shooting where a 21 year old white man, and you know he ended up killing himself, killed three innocent black people who were just out and about shopping up at the Dollar General. And that was the topic of conversation last week. It serves as an example as black men, women, and children continue to be targeted out here by random people filled with hate. And we are the number one target for hate crimes. And this is why we should have a crime bill more than anyone else. We are definitely the ones that should have a crime bill. And we don't. And there's no justifiable reason other than racism why we don't have it. So just the next day after the shooting, Jeffrey Harris of Ambridge was arrested in a business entryway and faces several charges, including aggravated assault, terroristic threats. Harris had on him a 12 gauge shotgun, 25 shotgun rounds, and what was later determined to be crystal meth. He was taken back to Ambridge police headquarters making multiple bizarre comments along the way to officers about a dead brother. When authorities found his house, it just got worse. Authorities discovered crystal meth firearms, a note that detailed his plans to commit a mass shooting at this black church, a device they suspect it was a bomb, according to WTAE. That literally sounds like the exact same things that were found in the home of Ryan Palmeter, the Jacksonville shooter, Peyton S. Gendron, the Buffalo supermarket shooter, Dylan Roof, the Charleston church shooting. A lot of similarities there. The similarities uh, to Roof, uh, particular Erie, considering he successfully entered a black church and went on to fatally shoot nine innocent black people. Yeah, that invited him in the church and prayed with him and everything. That's a demon for you. So that happened in June 2015. Thankfully, no one was hurt. And this church, ladies and gentlemen, was filled to capacity. They could not let any more people in. So he was not able to pull this off at all. And I am glad he was stopped in his track. So no one got hurt, but the fact that Jacksonville shooting was just the day before, and it just goes to show you how quick other hateful individuals will jump up and try to do similar acts out of nothing but hatred for black people. So how do you protect one another, you know, of us in the community? We just got to look out for anything that looks out of place. Now, this dude, being that this was a black church, he, to me, would have stood out like a sore thumb being up in there. 
And when we see these crazies crop up out of nowhere, you never seen them before, all of a sudden they're in the neighborhood. Yeah, to me, that should be a serious alert right there to everybody that, okay, where did this person come from? Who are they? Look, our people go into their neighborhoods just doing work and get the police called on them. These folks show up ready to kill people just because, you know, first of all, the fact that you had to come to the black neighborhood tells me nobody was bothering you. You took it upon yourself to come and bother them. That's a hell of a difference. And unfortunately, because of the climate in America, these things will continue to happen because America refused to give the black community a crime bill. They refused to give us reparations where we could have our own communities and do our own thing and be separate from the Jeffrey Harris's of the world. But being that they won't, they'll see these things, but they won't do anything to remedy the situation. Congress is refusing, the Senate is refusing, and your president and vice president are all refusing to jump to action and do something about the attacks on us. Look, just in a short span of time, we saw the attack on a black man in Montgomery. We saw the Jacksonville shooting. And now we see Jeffrey Harris attempting to go in a black church where people were in there worshiping and were not trying to harm him or no one in his family, but he felt he had the right to go up there with a 12 gauge and take those folks out. Y'all, please tell me what you think about this video. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace family.